Rod with True Boxing is here with legendary trainer Ronnie Shields out of Plex Gym, Houston, Texas. Uh, big fight Friday night with uh, Arizona Law versus uh, Mayweather's guy, uh, Ishe Smith. First off, um, how, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, man. I'm great. And we know you're a busy man. You got a, a massive stable, uh, tons of talent, and uh, it's kind of like a pilgrimage for Texans to go out there and check it out. But um, how was uh, Arizona's Lars camp for this fight? Oh, man, it was a great camp. Mm -hmm. Great sparring. I mean, it's just a total, totally great camp. Mm -hmm. You know, he feels great. You know, he's ready to go. You know, he, he's been wanting these for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And now it's happening. It's happening. And, and I sense that there's a little bit of bad blood between the two. Is it, <laughs> you, is it kind of hard to kind of uh, keep Arizona in the envelope when it comes to, you know, training and uh, staying, keeping his cool? Not at all. Arizona Lara is a true professional. Mm -hmm. He knows the talk is just the talk. Mm -hmm. But he knows he has to get in there and work. Mm -hmm. He knows we have to have a game plan. Mm -hmm. He knows he has to stick to it and follow it. And this is what he does. He trains hard for every fight. Every right. fight is a championship fight for him. Mm -hmm. So... You know, because he only fights the best guys. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and Ishe is considered one of the best guys mm -hmm. at 154 pounds. So we got to knock him off. And a lot of people see this uh, fight with Ishe Smith as a uh, tailor-made for Arizlandi Lara. Do y'all kind of agree with that? Well, you know, Ishe is a, is a hard fight because of his style. Mm -hmm. You got that dirty style, you know, head butts, low blows, hit on the hips. You know, I mean, all that dirty stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but, but you have to prepare for it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what he's going to find out, though, is what everybody else has found out, is that Laura's not an easy fight. Mm -hmm. And Laura's kind of been on the, the, the bad end of a lot of boxing politics from pretty much from his whole career. Um, you know, what's your take on that? Seeing that, you know, I, I think my, my thing is either the boxing politics work for you or they work against you. And there's really no middle ground. Um, so how, how, how does Arzlani Laura prepare and fight through that? Well, he keeps getting the big fights. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, when he does fight, he gets the big fights. Mm -hmm. Because people know, you know, in order to call yourself a champion, mm -hmm. you have to go through Arzlani Laura. Mm -hmm. And if you don't go that route, people don't consider you a champion. Yeah, and we, we know that he's gotten a lot of people that are that are trying to veer, uh, go away from him, veer around him, and kind of duck him. But uh, seeing with uh, with Al Heyman and everything, does that kind of help out in getting these fights made? Oh, yeah, yeah without a doubt. You know, Al Heyman was probably the best manager in the world. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he can get you in the fight you want. All right, and going back to training, we know that since you have, uh, you know, everybody at Charlo Brothers and we've got a deep, deep stable, um, is that who we, who we sparred with, who we prepared with, with, yes, with your regular guys? Yes, both Charlo Brothers. He sparred with James Delarosa. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's had some great sparring, and, you know, like I said, he's ready to go. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, sir. I mean, really looking forward to uh, really looking forward to this event. Lars, a, a real crafty, skilled guy, and you're one of one of the ring legends with a with a stable of fighters. But you have a you have a good day, sir, and I thank you for your time. Thank you.